Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you a MeshTastic solar node that I built and go over through some of the things that I did to it and maybe give you an idea of how to build your own node. So here we have the solar node with a solar panel on the front here, a watertight box. We have the items inside which we'll show in a moment. We have the antenna here, homemade cord wave ground plane antenna made out of copper, 12 gauge copper and some wires and whatnot, and then the back of the node. And then we have a breather port here, and then we have another gland port here for the cable to go inside for the USB-C charging. So I've been getting into MeshTastic a lot lately, and this has been a project. I've been putting up a lot of different repeater nodes, and they're very similar to this build here. I'm experimenting with a bigger battery in here, and I've been using the solar panels here, the glass-based ones as opposed to the rubber-based ones, as the glass-based ones tend to allow a little bit more light to get in. It's a little bit more sensitive. So it's a little bit easier to charge in the winter months here in New York State. So it's a little bit of a challenge to get power to some of these nodes out in the winter here when there's like multiple days of rain and snow and low amounts of sunlight. Not to mention the angle at this particular latitude you have to have solar panels at a certain angle to optimize charging that being said let's go over the uh, box on the inside and as we can see we have the battery here i'm testing out this battery i don't know if it's the real capacity of the battery and it's super huge for what it does so it'll last a couple days at least on that amount of charge inside we have a wio tracker l1 regular and uh, we have the GPS module attached to it because I like to be able to track my nodes. It's not necessary. It does draw a lot of power, but with this kind of size battery, it should be okay. And then we have the antenna port, which is a modified port with a P connector, or I forget the connector type to the board, but it goes up into the end connector up here. And then you can see all this gel that I put inside the box here for curating and turning into rubber. So we have a little bit more waterproofing going on with the unit here. Now I chose the clear cell case here. Uh, it's about 13 bucks currently on Amazon. It's the cheapest one versus the size and the weight ratio. A little bit on the bigger size. You can use smaller cases, smaller than this for this kind of project, but ideally I'm probably going to pit some sort of a blocking paper along the front here so the sun doesn't get inside the box. It could be a, kind of a, an issue with heating up the components inside the box. So time will tell with how that does. That's why we have the breather port on the outside here. So basically you get one of the boxes here on Amazon for 13 bucks. You get a solar panel like this. They, they say it's a six watt or seven watt. Don't believe that. These are two and a half watts at most based on the size here. So that's what you're going to get. They're just mislabeled a lot on Amazon on purpose to get you to buy something that's not true. So just be careful when you're buying these solar panels. I recommend getting one that has a glass pane on it because it does capture light a little bit better and does charge. You can probably see the red LED there um, in the camera there. I don't know if you can see it, but that means it's getting sunlight here. Right now it's very cloudy out, so it's not even direct sunlight, but it is getting some kind of trickle charge into the battery system. And I've noticed the Wheel Tracker L1 boards tend to do pretty well with solar charging compared to the mini rack wireless ones. There's something going on with how they're charging, we've noticed in some of our node builds. So the regular ones should be okay. The regular size rack boards should be okay. But overall, it's been a fun project. Uh, I like making these quarter wave antennas. You can see that I put a little cap on here to keep it straight. Basically, you just solder to the center pin here of a end connector. And you have four different areas where you can put down either these ring terminals and the screws. Or if you get the top tier brand of these end connectors, uh, they will be actually silver plated so you can actually solder to them. These are nickel plated so they're not as good for soldering to them. So that's why I went with ring terminals and this 12 gauge solid core copper wire that you can get from Home Depot. Overall these repeaters have been working pretty well. Some minor notes about them is that the wind blows a lot. These type of solar panels will turn, change, they'll in some cases go down or up depending on what you're doing. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna put this in a pretty windy place, you gotta really weatherize it and make sure it's not doing anything 
uh, coming off the panel or shaking a lot. So these can be kind of tricky to kind of mount in a safe area that gets a lot of sunlight and less amount of wind. Uh, on the top here, we have this adapter here. What I normally like doing is putting some dielectric grease on the threads here. So it keeps water from getting into the connector at least. And then on the outside, I'm probably gonna add a little bit more uh, silicone sealant on the outside here so no water gets inside the box. So that is the repeater node. I thought I'd just kind of show you guys the projects I've been working on for Meshtastic and what I've been doing. Again, this box is super big for what I'm doing it with. You can get much smaller boxes, but I figure this could actually help give you guys some ideas on how to build your own nodes and how to probably mount them. One thing I, I, I do when I'm mounting them is either I get the wooden screws and I screw them into this tree directly on these holders here, or I get paracord and I just wrap it around the tree, which is a little bit easier, uh, not as robust as screwing it into the tree. So it's completely up to how you want to do it. Uh, there's rail mountings you can get for this kind of thing, which will mount to the back of this. And then you got like pipe clamps to use or other pole clamps to put this on a pole if you want it to. So I've made a couple of these already and they work fairly well with these ground wave quarter plane antennas. I've been experimenting with different antennas and I'd like to maybe change this up a little bit in the future. But that's all I have to say for now on the Meshtastic solar repeater node that I built. I thought I'd show you guys that and I want to thank you for watching and enjoy your day.